Congratulations! Woo! Oh, look what he has on his feet. That's crazy. I don't even know how you got those, bro. Sean Witherspoon must have sewn them up himself for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I'm going to pass the mic to Jacques Cousteau. This talk is talking about how to build a brand. So for relations, like I said, he's one of the OGs doing it in the West Coast with sneakers anywhere. People know for relations and making videos and creating a brand is his thing. He's going to talk about his brand and how he started and maybe help one of you guys get inspired to do your own thing and create your own brand. So let me pass the mic over to my man Cousteau and we're going to get this talk going. Yo, 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 what up guys? How y'all doing today? What up Vegas? So today uh, I have the, the pleasure of interviewing Franelations. For you guys that don't know, before I started on YouTube, before Kite started on YouTube, before Blaze and Dairy, before Boost God, before all those guys were on YouTube, myself included, Franelations was like the sickest YouTuber at all. He basically, he helped make the sneaker world, like the YouTube sneaker world. This is one of the guys that helped create that world. Now he doesn't do it anymore, but that's because he's moved on. So I would say bigger and better things. He's doing bigger. He's doing bigger things now. So finally, just give him a quick intro about who you are, what the collection looks like, which right. is crazy. Right. Let's go. go tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Thanks for the intro, by the way. I appreciate that. But yeah, so my name is Fran, aka Franelations. I started doing YouTube videos on sneakers in 2008. At that time, it was very uncommon. Now, as you guys see here, and as you guys know, it's very common for this type of like review and all this type of stuff. So, I'm happy to be here right now. What I'm currently doing is working on my brand, Sandal Boys. Uh, we've been doing this for two years. We've done collabs with BBC, uh, Jeff Staple, uh, New, and you know, that, that's my uh, focus right now, Sandal yeah. Boys. So, so Fran went from being a sneaker YouTuber to actually creating his own brand. Yeah. What you see down there is called Sandal Boys. Yeah. And Sandal Boys has, like, the interesting part for me is because you came from YouTube, a lot of people know about you, and yeah. you've been able to get Sandal Boys on some pretty big, some right. pretty big people. Like, how did that come about? Yeah, so there is uh, five of us that work on Sandal Boys, so we all have our own network of like people we've met over the years. So for me, it'd be industry people from like the sneaker world and stuff like that. Uh, for my other partner, Ray, he's actually a barber, so he cuts a lot of like the NBA players and stuff like this. So that's how we get the product on various amount of people. So, yeah, it's just our different networks, basically. So if one of these people is like, hey, I want to start my own brand. Yeah. Like, what was that? What was that process like? How did the, how did Sandal Boys start? Yeah, it started from an idea from my partner, Drew. Uh, he came up with this idea three years ago, and there was about a year of planning, um, whether it's finding exactly what materials we want to use, finding the right factories, and just getting a better understanding of the product that we're trying to create. So that took about a year's worth of research, but in that time, we started an Instagram page, which at that time was just shouting out people that were wearing sandals. So it started with that and moved on to actually selling the product about a year after, yeah. So for like, for people that that say, oh well, I don't have any money to start a brand. Like, yeah. How did the, how did that process come out? Like getting money to start the brand and things like that. Yeah. So being the fact that there was multiple uh, multiple partners involved, we basically put our money together in order to get uh, the funds that we needed in order to uh, start this project. And it was it was a big investment too because of the fact that we have our own custom uh, midsole, which is not like cheap to do. It's very difficult, and then the, you know, finding out the best way of doing it and going from there. So there was a lot of information that we literally just jumped into and kind of figured out on our own. So yeah. Why why sandals? Why not create a sneaker? Why not create a, a t-shirt line? Why not create jeans? Why sandals? The reason why sandals in particular is just in general. I think like everyone's trying to be like comfortable and stylish, and this has that comfort right there. And of course, we already have the style built into the product as well as the fact that no one else is really doing that at the time and so in order to stand out you know you have to do something a bit different and so that's why uh we started sound of Voice. now you've done some amazing collaborations Thank you. bbc yeah staple like yeah. How, did, how did those come about those, like those are big names those are like heavyweight names in the industry yeah and we have more collabs to come too uh we're just getting started but um it's just different relationships really i met jeff staple in 2011 and at that time uh, he knew who I was because of the videos and he asked me why I started doing them and I, I told him it was to one day do a Nike sneaker just like he had done and he's like you know just keep doing what you're doing and, and it'll happen and fast forward to 2015 I hit him up and I wanted to send him sandals 
uh, we send it to him and he receives the first pair and he's like, yo, let's do something. And so it was him uh, who mentioned it and the conversation started there and that's, that's how it happened. And then with BBC, uh, we actually met them at ComplexCon. So, you know, that shows the importance of going to, you know, events like that, networking, meeting new people, and that's how we made that connection. And a year after that, the product was uh, on shelf. So, yeah. Maybe. And so what's the... What's the future for, for Sandal Boys? Where, where is Sandal Boys going from here? Next year, a lot more releases than what we've done over these past two years. Brand new types of products. We've already recently launched rugs as well. So just diversifying that product. It won't be just sandals. It'll be other stuff, but I'm not really ready to announce that at this time. So stay tuned. Uh, you can follow us at Sandal Boys on Instagram to keep up to date on that. And yeah. So if any of these guys, anybody here that wanted to create their own brand, they wanted to start their own brand, what would be the advice you would give them? You gotta have a solid team. I, I would not have been able to do any of this stuff on my own, and vice versa for my partner. So it's about finding a solid team of people that are just as passionate, willing to work just as hard, and who are just as focused on that same goal. Because you're not gonna be able to do it by yourself. So, yeah. Thank you, Fran. For those guys that, if you want to know more about Fran, you can find I, Fran online. I actually online. have some sandals too that I'm gonna go ahead and toss out. Oh, okay. You guys are selling sandals. sandals. We got if, some... if anyone wants some free sandals, just head to the stage. Yeah, we got some free sandals. We're gonna give out some sandal boys. Make sure. Wait, wait. Before you throw them out, do you guys know who Sandal Boy is? Sandal boys. You guys know about Sandal boys? Are you guys following Sandal boys? 